I think the door has always been open for LeBron because right now, you, and you know this, Rick, that in the NBA, we love storylines. And the storyline with LeBron is in his 17th year, the number that, numbers that he's putting up, his leadership, what he's doing with the Lakers. Okay, it's very similar to when Barkley went to Phoenix, right. the best record, got to the final. Was he more deserving than Michael Jordan? No, but the storyline sure. felt better. Steve Nash in Phoenix. Phoenix is running the seven-second offense, and Kobe's over here, but the storyline seemed better. So Giannis has always, I think, been the front runner, but LeBron James has been you know, nipping on his coattail the whole time, just steadily doing what he's doing, especially the success that the Lakers are having, that now the storyline is we haven't seen this, not only last year, right. but we thought it was going to be some attrition sure. coming into this year, sure. but he hasn't stepped back. So the door has always been open for LeBron. I, I agree, actually. I do think the door has been open, but I think it's funny. It just speaks to what success means in Los Angeles versus what success means in Milwaukee and, and the magnifying glass, right? I mean, no team has been more successful this season than the Milwaukee Bucks. No player has been more successful and more important to the most successful team right. than Giannis Antetokounmpo. So I, I do think that performances like this, and especially at, we'll see these two guys against each other this week, and, and I do think those head-to-head -head things can matter a little bit. But if, if you're a LeBron guy, I don't think this has changed anything for you because the reasons you would vote for LeBron, like Jim mentioned, you'd vote for him because everybody thought he was washed last year. Yeah. And, and, and he came back with, you know, and playing with an intensity and a fire we haven't seen from LeBron James in the regular season in years. That's why you would vote for him. You'd vote for him because he's going to be the oldest player since Steve Nash to lead the NBA in assists. Mm -hmm. You'll do that. A, a bad night in Miami on the second night of a back-to-back -back shouldn't change any of that. And let's remember, what did Giannis do on the front end of that back-to-back? -back? Yeah. 40 and 20. Right. Yeah, and, right, what right. Did, and what did LeBron do a couple nights earlier where he looked disinterested, what, against Memphis? Memphis lost and, in Memphis. Yes, exactly. And then had yep. the groin injury, mm -hmm. load management, non-load management. Right. Look, I, I, one of the other reasons why, uh, and I agree with you, I believe the door has always been sure. open for him, is because I remember how we looked at this Lakers team coming into the season, mm -hmm. which was it was a fourth, a fifth seed, you know, maybe. I think the optimistic thought was that. We didn't know how good LeBron was going to be, but we thought certainly that Anthony Davis was going to be carrying maybe more of the weight if they did mm -hmm. overachieve. And LeBron has done what he has done in a number of places, which he's brought together disparate pieces and disparate personalities and he's created a chemistry that I believe might be the most powerful thing that the Lakers have. And those are intangibles that he brings. Mm -hmm. I can look on a night-in and night-out basis and say, look, Giannis plays harder at both ends of the floor. There's times where sure. it still drives me crazy. This is the thing mm -hmm. that drives me crazy about LeBron with, and, and why I wouldn't vote him for MVP. Because if one more time he doesn't rotate on defense, and it's clearly his rotation, and when a guy sails in for an open layup, and he looks around like, who was supposed to do that? I'm like, no, 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 no. You were supposed to do that. Stop playing that off. You're too much of a vet to do that. I think that you, you mentioned that in, it. Didn't you? What? you just had to get that. I had, you, I, you it's just, been you, hanging You, you had there. to. Listen, <laughs> now, now, if you want to qualify that, I've been do, to Do you have an issue where, with me pointing where, that out? Where Steve Nash didn't rotate over, where it was Russell Westbrook MVP. that didn't do it. No, no, no. I mean, I'm just saying, if you want to no, 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 nitpick no, no, no. on little things, I, I can. Here's my distinction. What? Here's can, my distinction. What's the distinction? My distinction is those guys don't look around like I didn't. I, oh, no, who, you who didn't see him. They, they, no, no. I've been Mr. on the Rotation team with them. They Mr. look Rotation. around. Not, not, I haven't been on the team with Russell. Uh, Russell looks like this sometimes, too, <laughs> when, he, when he did it before. Hey, so. We've seen that look in the media <laughs> once or twice, too. <laughs> the rotation look. So no, you, just, you just wanted to get that in. I, you well, had to I, go ahead it, and take that and put this that This might in there. be a little recent bias because with that. I just saw it. I'm I, not I think, letting you get I away think with Rick, that. you illustrated, though, the point, though, is I do think the numbers point to Giannis, right? Yes. Like, all the, the numbers point to Giannis. The intangibles, the storylines, those things point to LeBron. This might be the last chance MVP voters get to vote for LeBron to win an MVP. Yeah. And I think when you when you mentioned sort of, you know, this was a team that doesn't have a point guard. And LeBron James said, it, it, don't, don't sweat it. I've always been a point guard. And then he's going to have the year he's had a historical season right. from distributing the basketball and from a guy his age is, to me, th there's really good arguments to be made for both. I think that so, door's been open all along. Back to your point, though, real quick about expectations about the Lakers, but maybe being fourth or fifth. Yeah. I thought that if they finished that way, it was, it was good. 
going to be caused by low management and them kind of navigating. Maybe an injury this, here, a soft tissue maybe, injury No, no, there. maybe yeah. through the season, maybe not trying to play LeBron and AD, these high minutes, not worrying about home court, knowing that they could secure that right. once they got into the playoff. But I'm so surprised. I shouldn't be at this point, you know, of LeBron's career and me watching just him dedicated to Game in and game out, still playing those minutes, along with AD staying yeah. healthy. No, it's, it's the reason it why seems like it's been important to him. Yep, but here's here. here's the thing. Uh, so Colin Cowherd likes to say that we have LeBron fatigue. I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Should Giannis be the pole setter? Should he have been? I know he's the defending MVP, but is it like did we just put him there because we didn't have any expectations of LeBron? Or there's been LeBron fatigue, so we think the days of him being league MVP are over. And it's only now when we sort of look and go, wow, the Lakers are right there with the Bucks." There's a potential here. Because I, I, I don't agree with Collins' view. I believe that we're past the fatigue. I think we've come back I was going to say, I think it helps him. I think, we've, well, case, I think yeah. we've come back to appreciating LeBron again. Yeah. Because at 35 that he's continuing to do what he does. Well, the fatigue part goes back to Michael Jordan. Okay, fatigue of Michael Jordan winning yeah. MVPs. But the, the, the qualifier is Michael didn't look like this when he was 35, okay, <laughs> later in his career, which gives more breath and life to LeBron's uh, legitimate um, opportunity to get MVP. And, and you can't undersell how storybook this season just has been. You know oh, what no. I mean? When everything that the Lakers, the, the drama in getting Anthony Davis, right, coming yeah. off of what he did last year, the injuries, the... The LeBron wants to trade you chance to his teammates and having to rebuild some of that image in this city. Kobe and, Bryant. And, yeah, and then Kobe Bryant's passing and LeBron being there that night to step up and be the first guy from that team to speak publicly and, and say the right things at the right time. Value is defined a lot of different ways. Yeah. And, and, and that's what's always been sort of tricky about this mm -hmm. award. And, and I think, you know, I'm lucky at the LA Times, we don't vote. I'm glad we don't vote. I don't know who I would vote for. Seeing LeBron as much as I see LeBron, you know, he's pretty valuable. But, but to your point about kind of Giannis coming in being the favorite this year, I think youth has a lot to do with that because it's so much more in his game that can grow. So him winning yeah. it last year, you're thinking, okay, well, he's just scratching the surface on how good he can really become. So, of course, has he been better this year, do you think? I think he's been different in a, in a little bit of ways, okay? He's I, been more efficient. He's been more efficient, and he's been willing to – not succeed shooting jump shots. And what I mean mentally, he hasn't shied away from it. He put in all the work over the summer. That dude will step into an air ball and, and, he, and it, he, it doesn't You know what? You know yeah. what? He'll continue to, unlike Ben Simmons, who you, he, he left everything on the practice court. All the shooting and stuff he did over the summer, okay? Now you get to the season and you don't see the result happen for you right away. You abandon it. Giannis, like it or love it, his confidence yeah. is like, you know what? I've worked on this. Yep. I'm going to be confident about it, and I'm going to shoot it. Lonzo Ball and Markel Fultz, we've seen Sam, same, same, same thing. thing. Right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak for Yourself, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.